My name is Steve G. Jones. I'm 42 years old and I'm from Savannah, Georgia, and I am a clinical hypnotherapist. The net worth it would really be hard to tell. It's over a million dollars easily. I live on an island. Uh, the next island over, Sandra Bullock lives on. It's a really nice area. 3,000 square feet. Uh, it's on the water. I have one other house also in Savannah. I bought a brand new Mercedes this year. I'm about to uh, get a convertible, so I'm looking forward to that. I initially got interested in hypnotherapy in high school. I read a book, The Complete Guide to Hypnosis. Athletes came to me wanting to run faster. The smart kids came to me wanting to study better. So. Now the athletes are the Dodgers and the smart kids are NASA. There's not a school for hypnotherapy, so I, I started one a few years back. I run a global organization that certifies hypnotherapists. I used to have an office in Beverly Hills and I was in the Roxbury Medical Building. I still come in from time to time to hypnotize celebrity clients. When I started working with celebrities, then the world saw, wait a minute, Tom Mankiewicz smoked cigarettes for 45 years every day of his life. He came to you and he instantly stopped and never smoked since. My current fee is $25,000 uh, per session. The main problem when it comes to dating with me is that I put an expiration date on it the first time, the first date. I do tend to look at the, the women I date as projects, unfortunately, because I'll usually find women who are not as successful as myself. I will think to myself, wow, you know, you could just make these little changes and first of all, you'd make $100,000 a year starting next week. Second of all, uh, you'd be a lot happier and a lot freer. And uh, third of all, I'd feel more comfortable dating you. I purposely go after the, uh, you know, the waitresses of, of the world, the, uh, the hairdressers of the world and, and so forth. If Patty said to me, I'm going to set you up with a female millionaires, I would be immediately intimidated. In fact, when I just say those words, I get a little I feel a little sweat or something happening. I am guarded in the sense that I will hold back part of myself because I don't know if the relationship will work out. I play guitar. I have the same birthday as Jimi Hendrix. I play a little guitar, a little drums, a little keyboard, a little piano. I'm extremely athletic. I, I bike every day. I ride a mountain bike. I have a customized Bianchi mountain bike. I like to go swimming in the ocean. I had a jet ski and actually got rid of it, sold it to another millionaire. I wasn't using it as much as, as I wanted to. All my neighbors have boats. I've never bought one because I always thought it would be a lot of maintenance, and it is, so I rent boats. My dream date would be Barcelona. I like the architecture of Gaudi, so uh, I'd like to go there and and, uh, and see that again. I was married, and I was married uh, in 88, uh, 88 to 96. Uh, then I had a, a short marriage after that, uh, very briefly. My first marriage, I was very vulnerable. In fact, I remember the first time we kissed, uh, I, was, I started crying. When she cheated, that was it for me. My very next one was a relationship where the girl walked out on Christmas Day and said some words I won't repeat. The next one was a marriage that lasted like three months. So that really messed me up. But I was a preacher for the Church of Christ and I was a preacher during that time. I wouldn't say that women are intimidated by the fact that I do hypnotherapy in and of itself because a lot of people do hypnotherapy and they don't do it very successfully. It's just something they do on the side. The fact that I do it very well intimidates them because they think that I might do it on them, you know, put the mojo on them. You know, as a hypnotherapist, I help people all the time and I've helped thousands of people and uh, with my products available now in all different countries, I help, it could be even millions of people, but I really could use some help myself. I haven't taken the time to look inward at myself concerning the inability that I apparently have to open my heart, to really let someone in and see the real me. As a Sagittarius, I'm sure Patty can help me open up, and I'm also sure that Patty won't stop until she gets the result that she wants.